Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got well, another uh, mixed operations problem here uh, for you to check out. Pretty simple one. Uh, a lot of people may already have the answer. And um, it's 5 plus 5 times 3 equals what? Um, so it's a, a pretty simple problem again. But um, if you're not sure, go ahead and pause the video. Or we will come back and discuss it and um, <clears throat> go from there. So, all right, um, if you remember your order of operations, um, going back to elementary school, primary school, um, this is kind of math that's usually taught, um, usually to 10 year olds, basically, but um, multiplication has precedence over addition. So the multiplication uh, would be handled first. Um, so five times three is 15, uh, five plus 15 is 20. So pretty simple. Um, just follow the order of operations. Again, multiplication's got precedence over addition. Um, I will we'll just say uh, to anybody here that's what liked the video, please look at the links um, to some of the videos that I have um, in the description of this video. Um, I've got a lot more detail on the order of operations, so if it's something that's not ringing a bell, uh, you're not really clear about it, you can go check those other videos out, and they go into quite a bit more detail. Um, if you do understand the answer is 20, you know, you can just stop the video now. The, the rest of this uh, is really for the people who make um, the same mistakes and, and make the same arguments for their in, incorrect answer. Um, there's quite a few people who will try to claim the answer is 30, uh, and it's just because they're going left to right, uh, but they've forgotten the order of operations. So again, if you know it's 20, you know, uh, thanks a lot, great. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, but for everybody else uh, who's not sure um, who or who thinks the answer is 30, um, there's a multitude of misunderstandings about the order of operations. Um, there's some really, really bad arguments out there. Probably the biggest one that I'll see is, uh, well, there's no parentheses or brackets again, so the answer is zero. Uh, and again, that's a, a terrible argument. Multiplication already has precedence. Um, over addition. Um, multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. Um, what is 5 times 3? Well, it's the same thing as adding up 3 5 times. Uh, you've got 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is what? 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. So if you replace all the multiplication with equivalent addition, you're going to get the same answer of 20. Um, <clears throat> so this is why you've got to resolve the multiplication first. Um, it's sure a lot easier to write 5 plus 5 times 3 than it is to write 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Plus 3. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to have to write stuff like that all day. Um, and again, you know, you've got all these different acronyms, PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, so on. Um, these are all representing the very, very same order of operations. So um, I see a lot of arguments going, oh, it's PEMDAS. No, you're wrong. It's BEDMAS, BEMDAS or BEDMAS or BODMAS. Um, it doesn't matter what the acronym is. It's the same order of operations. There's only four steps. And in every one of these acronyms, multiplication and division have equal precedence. You just solve them left to right. Uh, addition and subtraction are the same. Um, it doesn't even matter what, what you do first. Addition first, subtraction first, doesn't matter. They're equal precedence. Um, and again, I'll stress it again. I have links in the notes here in the video with links um, to about, about bottomless misunderstandings, um, you know, further videos on the order of operations, you know, how long has this thing been around, how, why is it what it is, you know, is it a rule, is it a convention, all I've got, all, i got videos on all this stuff, but um, again, it's uh, it's fairly simple, uh, you know, be careful with calculators too, um, be careful which calculators you use, I have a link to the video about uh, different types of input methods that calculators have, and how you can get the wrong answer if you don't understand what kind of calculator you're using. Um, so uh, uh, don't 
please don't say that the answer is 30 because your calculator told you so. Uh, it would just mean that you don't understand your calculator, you don't know how to use it. Um, that's really all that means. So anyhow, again, um, I appreciate everybody who's made it this far through the video. Uh, please consider uh, liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, it really helps a lot. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.